I'm a preacher's kid and I'm still in recovery for that. There was at an early age this awareness that I had that all eyes were on me. It's pretty ironic because now I look at my life and like all eyes are on me. Like I, I've, I've spent an entire lifetime living out a personal faith in Christ through a public spotlight. When you feel like all eyes are on you, you can quickly become way more concerned with the outward appearance. And you discover this unwanted skill of being able to look the part and that be your whole focus. And you actually lose sight of what it means to actually live the part. Some days, like in my weakest moments or my most discouraged moments, I'll feel like, I think I'm better at talking about Jesus than I am talking with Jesus. I really have had to overcome some real obstacles, and in my case, like physical trials. My music career started to really take off, and my voice took off. Something was very wrong, and instead of getting on stage somewhere, doing what I was born to do, I was being wheeled in for surgery at Vanderbilt Hospital in Nashville. And the doctors had warned me that even with this surgery, it was just to make sure that I could talk again, but there was a high likelihood uh, that my singing voice would never be the same. I was really discouraged and really depressed. And so while I'm sure that in the moment, God was trying to teach me some powerful lessons. There's some times in your life where if you're just being honest, you just, you don't want to receive the lesson. I was using my gifts for God and yet it was being taken away. The doctor's orders were, I had to spend several weeks in total silence. And so I wound up just retreating and being by myself for hours on end. And being the songwriter that I am, I titled it, My Season of Silence. I was physically unable to do this, because I like to do this. I talk and I sing, it's what I do for a living. And having that very thing taken away from me for months forced me to lean in. And I felt like Psalm 4610 was coming to life for me in a whole new way. Be still and know that I am God. I'm thankful for that conviction in my life because those are the moments where I've gone, okay, Lord, forgive me if I've perfected the art of talking about you but I forget to be plugging in and spending time with you. I've seen these full circle moments, one after the other. I'm amazed by how faithful God has been. I'm amazed by how true His promises are. I'm overwhelmed by that powerful reminder that the times where I've really sought Him with all my heart, guess what? I have found Him. I'm thankful for that season of silence.